Hey YouTube, Sheep and Shinobi here with a review of the SH Figuarts Kamen Rider Denno sword form from Kamen Rider Denno, obviously, because he's he's right here. So, uh, this is the second recent Denno release, with Climax form being the last one, and uh, really awesome box. I love this box style. It's got the Denno logo within the plastic and the outside, done in all red for sword form. Picture of him down here in a nice little Photoshop filter. Back here, got a bunch of different poses, and the side. So, really awesome figure. It uses the same Deno mold that we've been getting for a few releases now, since new Deno, I think. Um, these little shoulder pads are maneuverable, so you can get full rotation. Um, the shoulder pads right down here are not, but that's fine with me. I mean, that's good. Rotation down here at the hips. You've got a rotation at the bicep. Enough movement there in the chest. Full rotation on the neck. Double joint at the elbow. Hand swivel. Double joint. And the awesome Deno uh, mold. Ankles. There we go. That I absolutely love. Um, e the Deno mold is easily my favorite of the figure arts molds that you can have. I, the, I feel like you just can get the most articulation out of it. It's the easiest to pose. Uh, it looks great. So this um, body style is like pretty personally my favorite of the of the body styles. I think it's, I think it's great. So um, very cool figure, uh, very accurate. Back here you've got all of the axe form pieces since those are on the back of sword form and sword forms on the back of axe form basically. So that's pretty neat. Uh, nothing really comes off or anything like that. So there's no sort of transformations or anything. Uh, purely one figure which is fine because it's a figure that's what's supposed to be um the belt is nice there's a nice uh red translucent plastic over the belt to emulate the red sword form light so that is good and uh overall just absolutely great the uh dengasher pieces are fully painted they are not removable like the older ones they are a new piece all one solid piece which is great since I was always worried about the older ones falling off. So absolutely awesome. And of course with an awesome figure you have absolutely awesome accessories. Awesome. Yep. Lots of awesome in this review. So for hands you have the thumbs up hand. You've got a uh, ticket holding hand. The rider pass. Relaxed hands and weapon holding hands. So you've got a good variety of hands. Obviously, you have the belt pieces for when he's holding the Dengasher, so they're all empty and such. You have a rider pass with uh, like basically no ticket in it. It's 100% not detailed. Well, it's detailed. There is some detail there, as you can see, but it's not painted at all. You have the Dengasher in sword form, fully painted, fully detailed, pretty nice. And then you have a Dengasher without the sword piece in it. So you have the sword piece over here, so if you wanted to, you can uh, get like a Tamashi stage and have this one over here, while this back here. To emulate his final attack where the sword piece would kind of fly out and have a mind of its own basically. Or you can be even cooler and have this. This is a effect part that came with this uh, with this figure. And it has the sword piece out here with a nice long lasery shooting effect. You've got like a blasting star down here with lightning connecting it. It looks absolutely awesome, and uh, the Dengasher piece just kind of slides right in. Maybe it goes the other way. Yeah, it goes the other way. Just like that. So that looks absolutely awesome. And uh, like I said, I'm not usually a big fan of effect parts, but the last couple of ones that they've been including with these figures have been so good that it's like a sin to not pose it with it. So, uh, despite the fact that all sword forms should be posed with Ori Sanjo in mind, I'm going to end up with uh, this as a pose, because that's just downright 
badass in my opinion. I love this effect part. So, um, that is really about it with the accessories and the posability and the sculpt and everything. So let's go ahead and uh, do some poses. So this figure is absolutely great. It's been a while since we actually seen some good old sword form uh, figures. And this one is no exception. It's absolutely fantastic. Climax form, I thought, was an absolutely stellar figure that year. And this just builds upon how awesome the Deno line is going to be in figure arts form. Uh, I see no real flaws in the paint or the sculpt. Because once again, the recent figure arts have been absolutely flawless in my opinion. Accessory count is great. And uh, really, you just can't particularly go wrong with uh, this figure. So are there any reasons not to get this figure? Personally, no. It's a main rider. It's Deno's main typical form. And if you're collecting these figures, that's obviously one of the things that you're most going to want to get. Um, the Sochaku Henshin version is a fantastic figure. It was released a long time ago. Um, and they're pretty easy to get a hold of. But really, I feel this is a more superior version. Uh, you've got better articulation, better sculpt, better paint. The compound eyes look absolutely fantastic. Uh, plus, you have some really stellar accessories like uh, this thing. So, uh, I feel like this is probably a better pickup than getting the Sochaku Henshin version. If you already have the Sochaku Henshin version, then I would say it's really up to you. But I would still definitely recommend picking this one up. Is it my favorite release of the year? Not really, but it's still one of the best figures to come out in recent time, I think. Articulation spot on, sculpt spot on, paint is spot on. You get this badass piece of accessory right here. Plus the box is cool too. So if you're a fan of Deno, definitely pick up this figure. Um, one of the best main rider forms I think we've got a figure of recently. Um, in terms of just accuracy in general. Um, retail release should be pretty easy to find. Great figure, definitely, definitely recommend it. So you can check out shukenshobi.com for latest updates, my reviews, and hauls. And of course, check out ridersrangersandrambles.com, the podcast bringing the latest token news in the createst way possible. So take care. Have a great one. Bye.